Hey guys, Third Gear Grind here today doing another video on a TDI. This time we're replacing a smart actuator on the BEW here. Basically the original actuator, the vacuum diaphragm in here is screwed. We already tested it. So basically this is a review on this Chinese direct replacement because if you notice Borg Warner doesn't actually sell these individual from the KP39 that comes on these BEW engines. Don't be scared with these uh, direct replacement Chinese actuators. They're actually quite simple. It really is just a regular vacuum diaphragm inside of here. The only digital part about this is that this connector has some electronics inside that just basically determines the exact position of the rod and then it tells the ECU that. So it's actually quite a simple actuator. You know, with this replacement being so cheap, there's not really much use converting one of these motors back to the ALH style. So when you go into this job, just be aware that it should only take one to two hours unless these bolts break on you. you know, I did what I could with, uh, you really wanna be using a torch, maybe even some PB blaster if you can help it let it sit overnight with PB blaster, but uh, nothing could save this turbo here. The car had been off-road several times. This had the oil line snap despite using a torch. Bit of a nightmare. I happen to have another turbo lying around that wasn't as screwed, so we're throwing the smart actuator onto that. So how you set it up is you wanna adjust this nut to where this lever is kinda at its stop. This is its resting position and then you can go ahead. So if you wanna figure out if your old smart actuator is bad, go ahead, get some vacuum line and a vacuum hand pump. Now, this is gonna be a poor example because my hand pump, the hand pump itself is actually leaking. So you're probably gonna see a little bit of a pressure drop here. It's holding that vacuum. As I apply more vacuum, it pulls the lever back. How you wanna adjust it is you, you wanna have it hit the stop. Yeah, it's slowly dropping because this, this hand pump is bad, but you wanna adjust it to where it hits the second stop. So you see right there, it basically stopped between 18 and 20. And you also kinda want it to move as soon as a vacuum is applied, you want it to move. Finally, a bit of actual give up and go. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have done that before, I can tell you that much. It literally couldn't even break one tire loop before. <laughs> nice. Finally, the stage two clutch is being put to use. Yeah, there you go. There's a reason that- Not the yet, not yet, not till, on. not till, oh, in good condition. In good yeah. condition, yeah. Not till you get that tune. Yeah. Oh man, it's, oh, it's gonna be night and day. Yeah. 